starting with 2024, if you're A2 licensed uh, motorcyclist, you have a new breed in the Honda lineup. You have the Hornet 500. It's uh, the latest edition and it looks different from the 500 units that we know already because this one wears the Hornet logo, has a different headlight, just like the NX500. For this model over here, you also get the windshield, you get this white and black team and a pillion cover over here. It's a nice machine to have with a good riding position and especially for this year, LED lights all over and the TFT dash over here on the front. The hugest improvement is the new traction control. So besides the ABS, you now have for 35 kilowatts of power that your engine produces, a system that will keep you on the bike. So we already know that these engines are super reliable and we've tested them on different shapes and sizes like on the uh, CB500X or the regular CBR or even the R. No issues over there. You have this new suspension, the Showa single function for big piston which offers a big improvement in reliability and also in uh, the amount of feedback that you as a rider get from your front suspension giving you a lot more confidence to ride this bike. The brakes are just the same and now you have twin discs on the front which will offer you lots of stopping power and super important a set of radial mounted calipers. This has become a serious machine to own. What I like about it is that uh, these uh, new fairings each side are making it a bit more aggressive, making it into a serious 500cc bike that every youngster which owns an A2 license will wish to have. And most important, it comes with a set of Michelin Road 6 tires that are super grippy and will offer you uh, lots of confidence while riding, no matter the weather outside. When you look from the back, it doesn't seem so changed. You have this backrest over here, this uh, air ducts left and right that even the previous model had, and also the gas tank, which uh, at first glance seems to be just like the one on the previous uh, uh, CB500R. But the tail unit is a lot slimmer, and uh, it feels overall a smaller bike, but uh, it gives you the impression of a more aggressive street fighter looking uh, motorcycle. Also, what I like the most is this new stoplight, LED stoplight, like a hologram over here. It gives you the impression of depth. When you look at it, it's like going inside to the middle of the bike. Even more cooler than you thought, this new dash can be connected with the phone. So no matter if you have an Android or an iOS, you can connect with the Honda app and uh, we'll give you some data. Otherwise, the overall weight of this bike is 188 kilograms and this with a full gas tank, which is important, making it uh, easy to maneuver a bike in the city or outside, even for a thinner rider or uh, even a girl, why not? Overall, I like it, it's good looking and I can't wait to test it. So stay tuned for more videos like this one from Aikma 2023. See you guys.